Let me introduce Hank the Angry Drunken Dwarf for a second who wants to pitch a script to me for Son of the Beach. I'm looking at it. I can't even figure it out. Hank did say he wanted to be on the show, and we told him to write a script. Yeah, so the script is about a page and a half handwritten. <laughs> and how long does he think, how many minutes of showtime does he think that will be? I don't know. It's like an outline, I guess. An outline. Yeah, and High Pitch is going to come in, too, because High Pitch had sex. You know, one of the girls who was with them, I just ran into her in the hall. She's absolutely beautiful. Yeah. And I'm wondering, why is yeah, she doing figure it out. Why is she in porn? <laughs> Oh, here's Hank the Dwarf. Gary's leading him in by the hand. Because he's so loaded. Hello. Oh, he's God. what? Again? He doesn't listen. What, what happened? Why do you have to lead him in by the hand? Otherwise, he won't get in here. No, I can get up in my shirt. Okay. Yeah, that's right. Lift him up. Howard, Robin. Hi, Hank. <laughs> no, I'm all right. Oh, God. He'll never get in front of him. Somebody sit phone. with Hank because he'll fall over. No, 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 I'm not going to follow You're up. drunk. No, no, he's not that he's so drunk. You know what happens with him? His, 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 his senses are dulled. So I go, Hank, we got to go in now. And it's like he doesn't hear you. So you get right up on him and you go, now, now. And then he, he sort of takes about a, a second to wheel around and look at you. And then I takes had another two tricks with 10 me. seconds to, I'd be listening he, to you. He can't, he can't, you know what I mean? Nothing no. goes through his head so quickly. It's right. like having a kid. Hi, high pitch. Hey, do All right. All right, high pitch. I heard that you guys uh, were in that gangbang. And again, you could not get aroused. I did. Uh, it took me a while to get aroused. <laughs> but you didn't. Be honest. What's no. going on, really? They're not guys. No, no, no. We are. No, you are, Hank. Hank, did you have sex on the videotape? No. What happened to you? No, I just had um, oral. Oh, you didn't get laid? No. You gave but or you... received oral? Were you able to get aroused? Oh, yeah. That's was definitely... the last time you weren't. Well, I don't know. Maybe I was too drunk the other time. Yeah, but you got aroused. How come you didn't get? How come you didn't get to have sex with her? To be honest with you, uh, they were just here. No. I think they didn't want to. They didn't want to have sex with you. <laughs> no, not just me. But I don't think they wanted to have sex except for the, between the two of them. Oh, you think uh -huh. that they're into girls and not guys? But yeah. they gave you oral. But what did they yeah. do? I heard they wanted to have sex no, with you. No, I did pitch. the. I did the oral. Oh, you, you gave oh, oral. Oh, yeah. you oh, gave, gave oral. oral. Oh, for crying out loud. But wait a minute. Will, Will, I'll bet you he wasn't capable. Who, me? Yeah. No, I don't. No, I, I don't know. But uh, Why would you just give oral and not get Because they couldn't get him... Aroused. Excited oh. enough. They definitely got me aroused. Well, in high pitch, I heard you could not get aroused. No, but like... I, I saw the tape. Well, one of, one of the girls was talking <clears throat> dirty in my ear, and that helps me get aroused when that happens. Look, Dude. you are, you know, you've only had sex once in your life. You should have no trouble. Eric, let's lay down the facts. Were, were you there for an hour and 15 minutes and did nothing finish off? Yes. There you go. Whoa. Wow. Are you concerned? I'm not concerned. You're a man who needs <laughs> Viagra and you're what? 20 something? 29. Hank, what do you think is going on with him? I have no idea. Yeah. Was Hank there? Yeah, yeah, Hank was, was there. there. Hank, was he giving off a gay vibe? No. No, he wasn't. If he was gay, he should just come out and admit it. I don't think he's gay. Are you gay? No, I'm not. Huh. No. You're just unable to perform. <coughs> you're like asexual. Well, I got a question for you. When you're home alone and you pleasure yourself, don't you? No. You don't. Come on, you've done that. No, I don't. You've never really, done you don't. I have. No, we oh, know you do. Up, no, no, I don't. You've never, you've never self gratified yourself ever. No, self never. Self gratified yourself. Never. I find that hard to believe. You've never gratified yourself? No. You, why? I don't know. That's that. Are you, do you think about boys, maybe? No. Are you embarrassed about it? No. Do you have wild dreams? No. Eric, when you're no. laying in bed and yeah, you have get... To. When you Actually, I have wild dreams about girls like from the internet when I look at the, their pictures. But when yeah. you're laying so in bed... So do you ever pleasure yourself exactly, to the pictures? Exactly, I have them too. <laughs> you pleasure yourself to the pictures? Yeah. Oh, you do? Yeah. Oh, well, so you do pleasure yourself? About? Yeah. I, I just pleasure myself when I'm on the computer. And are you able to, to do the whole act from beginning to end? Yeah. So and what happened when you were with these? Because those girls were gorgeous. They were. They were. What happens? I mean, I was... I mean, I let, Seriously, I'm trying to have a serious discussion with you. I like that... You know what girl I love the best who was beautiful? Yeah. That girl, Cleopatra. Yeah, so did you have sex with her? No, I had sex with Alexandria. So why, is that why? Because you but wanted the other girl? But Alexandria was cute, too. She I mean, she had a killer she's body. Beautiful. They were both good looking. Yeah. yeah. Well, so, so what's the problem? I, Hank, I could see they didn't want to have sex with him, I guess. No, they, it's not that. It's just... Uh, did she touch you, at least? Oh, yeah, And yeah. you got aroused? 
Yeah. No, he did. Yeah. Yes, I did. No, you did. Yes, he I did. did. He did. He, he says he, he got aroused. He noticed that. And not only that, but like I said, I did have oral sex with... Uh, uh, but you was... gave it. That doesn't matter. Yes, it does. Sure it does. You didn't have anything to do oral sex with, I think. Were you able to complete any acts of any kind? You didn't have I, an orgasm. Uh, uh, I didn't have a real orgasm. Oh, maybe a little one. <laughs> well, he had a clitoral orgasm. Do you think there's something medically wrong with you, Eric? Like maybe that's why you have a high pitched voice and like maybe your maybe genitals. Maybe no testosterone. No. He's got a beard and ha facial hair. I like the way he wears like Jets jerseys. You know, he's a man. Yeah. yeah. Nice try. <laughs> nice try. Nice jets. 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 So what happened? You were, you were and like, did she say to you, "Come on, let's." Get it on, and you couldn't. I, I, I mean, the, uh, she tried to do it the first time; it didn't work. Ugh. And uh, the, the, so Cleopatra was the, like talking dirty in my ear, and that's that when I got aroused when she was talking dirty in my ear. You did right. get aroused. Oh, you did get aroused. Yeah. Right, but then nothing happened right. after that. Right. You lost it. Yeah. No. In fact, at one point, Howard, during the, one point during the tape, they they bring Eric <clears> off to the side <throat> and they go, "Eric, what's going on?" And he goes. I don't know. I'm I'm having trouble getting getting you know getting ready. Getting up, getting it up. Right. <laughs> and this doesn't seem odd to you. I don't know. He might be a little upset about it. I think it's hard for him to talk about. Yeah. Is that I don't it? Know, at least I'm trying. Yeah. Do you think that we might like guys? No. But these, you know, these girls are the best you'll ever. If he get. does, I'm never staying in his house again. <laughs> <laughs> Did you stay with him? Did he do Did anything? His house? To you? No. All right. Then well, maybe you don't. Well, know. Hank, you think you're so hot he'll be able to? He won't be able to keep his hands off you. Even uh, if he was gay, I think he could stay away from you, Hank. <laughs> <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> you don't have to worry, Hank. Yeah, he, you're fine. Uh, Rob, Robert, no, 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 no. I'm. He's he's been all right. He's been a great host. Hmm. All right, <laughs> let me. All right, so Eric, you did not have sex, and and Hank, you really didn't have what sex a either. Bust. Other than uh, <clears throat> than you performing oral. Oral, right? Yeah, that was like the closest. <laughs> <laughs> what a rip off. What a bust. All what a waste. Man. Those two cute girls, nobody did them. Yeah, I'm Erica. telling you, I ran into that Cleopatra. I didn't get a good look at her when she was here the other day. She's absolutely gorgeous. Yeah. She's stunning. Yeah. And I'd do you, her. You couldn't them, do her. No, but both of them are stunning. Both of them have great bodies. Yeah. They I get each really another. I haven't seen the other girl yeah, either. Yeah, they do one another, too. <laughs> You should get aroused just from talking about it, Eric. Let alone I'm aroused hearing about it. Well, that's my point. Why is he so <laughs> yeah, difficult? I'm actually aroused right now. Eric, I saw thinking two, about it. I saw two women doing each other that weren't nearly as good looking as either one of them, and I got aroused. And what I, is, what I, is it, Doug? I mean, just you remember, there's two girls giving him full attention. There's, you know, there are a lot of people in the room, but every guy in there was just like, they were shocked that he was not. And they're responding. naked, right? Yeah, it was... Naked yeah. and working on them. But, like, they're full attention to him, and he, it's like, how do you explain it? You can't explain it. He can't explain it. <laughs> this, Let's face it, Eric. If we There's got to be a few explanations. If we do this for you ten more times, it, it, it's not going to change. It, it? No, it might change. No. It might. How, how, hey, how about a, uh, an IQ test? What does it have to do with it? What does an IQ test have to do with it? See if I'm not, see if I'm not gay or anything. You mean That wouldn't make any difference, test? Eric. What a lie. I don't think you're gay. I'm not. I don't know what you are, but it's not gay. I, I think, think it's he's beyond asexual. gay. Asexual. Yeah, you might be asexual. He might be though. The, you remember he did the movie last week with uh, Dynamite. Dynamite. Yeah. yeah. I was watching those tapes too, and I also made an observation that when there were guys present in in the line of sight, he was aroused. He was. Yes. So something's going on. <laughs> Maybe I'm just nervous about that. Could be. Oh, why aren't you? There? But why aren't you nervous? That might have been my problem too. You know what? Please, I'd like Hank. to see Hank. Your problem is you got you're so filled with alcohol, you can't even get anything going. You're completely wasted. Yeah, at one point he he was. No, he was right saying, now I'm not. I'm not drunk. No, Hank, we mean. Well, as I got a person, buzz on, but yeah, I got a buzz. Hank climbed into the uh, bed with the two girls and passed out at one point. Right. <laughs> Good way to go, Hank. <laughs> and I love Hank and Eric's relationship already this weekend. I call Hank in and he goes, "Eric, bring the liquor." Right. <laughs> so now Eric's yeah. carrying the liquor. Enabler. <laughs> Gets everyone involved with that liquor. Pretty soon the whole world will be drunk. <laughs> you know, I wish these two girls would just have sex with you away from the camera and find out once and for all if you could perform. I wish they could. Yeah. Why can't they? I don't know. Do us a Eric favor. Because then Eric would able, be able to come back and lie to exactly. us. Exactly. Well, no, no. Well, not only that, Robin and Howard uh, and Jackie, it would probably be better, uh, maybe if they were, it would probably be... Uh, I don't know. Some... You're not performing on or off camera, okay? Yeah, well... Yeah, you yes, got sir. problems, too. 
Hank, if you have a sentence to say, feel free to say it. <laughs> <laughs> what? Hank, we're just cutting you slack because you're drunk. Yeah. yeah. We're not sure you're not gay. Yeah, maybe that's why you're drinking so much. Yeah. Like Eric oh, doesn't drink. I'm not gay. No, I did drink when I came in. Yeah, but I <laughs> corrupted him. Yep. Come <laughs> <Go> proud. <laughs> <clears throat> <clears throat> All right, talk to me about this script you wrote for Son of the Beach. I don't understand it. We'll it's written in scroll. All right. Well, I don't have the best penmanship. Right. It says on top, <laughs> Son of the Beach. Okay. All right. B.J. Cummings, that's Jamie's character. B.J. Cummings is Reverend Green's illegitimate daughter. Uh, Hank the Dwarf makes out with her only once, but gets her pregnant. However, a 25-year-old female named Michelle and a girlfriend of Hank start having sex on the beach and then start drinking sex on the beach. That's a drink. Wow. Okay. Jesus. Sex on the beach, there is a Meanwhile, drink. a daughter of Hank winds up on the beach... While he's effing Michelle. Quote, hey, has anybody seen my father? He's a little dwarf. Finally some dialogue. Yeah. <laughs> in which somebody replies, yeah, he's effing some tall chick over there on the sand in the blanket. At the time, 10 of the members of the local high school football team start, started to make fun of her. She's 15 and 5 foot 9, 190 pounds. They started making fun of her by saying things, if you're going to go swimming, you'll get harpooned. She says, go to hell. One of the football players says, what about that little midget over there with that tall, sexy woman? Why should a little bastard get a piece of ass like that? With Notch Johnson, B.J. Cummings, Chip Rommel, and Christine, the football team was scared. Do you understand any of this? No. no well, well, I, I don't even know. <laughs> you don't even know Listening what it is. Listening to it, you don't understand. I mean, how much more should I read? It's almost <laughs> over. Why is she 15 years old, and why did the football team come by? She's actually based on a girl that I knew, uh, although that was years ago, but that, she was about that size. And what's all right, all right. Well, what, it, what kind of script is this? How long did it take for you what to What is the point? There's a lot of questions out there. How, uh, what is, <laughs> high Pitch is asking a good question. How long did it take for you to write the script? About two weeks. Two weeks. Well, I was lazy. I was drunk. Right. And what can you so, can you tell me what's going on in the script? I don't even understand the jokes. What jokes? I'm not. I don't know. See, I know what happened. Howard. I guess if you're really drunk, it makes total sense. You know what happens? It took two yeah. weeks. What happens? Is, seriously, he probably writes a little bit, mm. and then well, he passes out drunk. And when he wakes up again, he writes a new script. Yeah. <laughs> That's probably right. Hank, hey, I want to give you the benefit of the doubt. Can you explain this? I'll script? tell you what. I'll rewrite another one. All right. No, tell us what this one was about. You want to give an oral presentation? Sure. You're no. good at oral. No, 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 no. No. This is like... Uh, how can I uh, perform this if I'm not on a beach and I've, don't have all the people to... Uh, well, can you tell us what the story is about? Pitch us, dude. It's, all right. It's, a, <laughs> it's just about uh, a girl sticking up for her father who's a dwarf. And she beats up the high school football team, and then we end up blowing up the school. Uh, in a I'd love city. to produce this. <laughs> Howard, do you think we could do a reading of some sort, maybe with the people from Son of the Beach? Yeah, but there's not even there's not you even know, a what, script here. Fly them in. There's nothing to read. There's nothing to read. All right, I got a rewrite it. Mental case. Let me rewrite it. All right, rewrite it with, in script form. <laughs> Can you get us ten pages? And how pages long? How long do you want it? What does it take? Take a year, I guess. Well, get us yeah, no, you're serious. No, we, can you do it in two weeks? I don't know about two weeks because I got a lot of shows to do. All right, but uh, how about a month? All right, in a month. Ten pages of script. When are you starting? I I know that uh, your show's been what rerun, right? Yeah, but they're already shooting the new ones. Maybe for the third season, I can get to. All right, all right, that's that's fair. All right, I, I can probably get one in a month. I could possibly get the whole crew in here, though, I when they have you to promote were anxious to do this. the new season. I am anxious to do it, Robin, but uh, right. can you have it by August 1st? That's over a month, Hank. Can you get the script in some sort of working order? Yeah. Okay. Uh, what do you want me to send it to? Want me to send it to K-Rock? Don't worry send? about it. First write it, and then we'll tell you where to Call send it. Call me when it's ready. But, <laughs> Hank, can I ask you another question? <laughs> yeah. He's, say, already putting the, he's already addressing the envelope. Right. I know you're busy doing a lot of shows and stuff. <laughs> Right? Like, say, it's, for instance, today you'll go home, right? And then tomorrow, what will you do all day tomorrow? Drink. Probably uh, get drunk or something. Exactly. <laughs> or something. Yes. Uh, you so why didn't you no, write tomorrow? I can, no, I can start doing some of that tomorrow. I can, I can rewrite this. Yeah, you got the idea in your head. Just I, write it. I, I, like, write down, like, BJ and what she says and then what I Hank says. I looked at it, and I really don't think this is, is that good now that I uh, look at it. Yeah. Did you read it after you wrote it? Obviously not. Yeah, no, I did. <laughs> but I, I just... You must have been drunk. No, no, no. I've I got a whole bunch of uh, scripts. I'm in the middle. I'm doing like four or five scripts. I got like a. You're writing four or five scripts. Yeah, yeah. 
I got uh, a dwarf version of the Odd Couple I'm working on. Yeah. Uh, me, when I play a giant dwarf from the land of the giants. All right. Uh, giant who are you dwarf. writing these for? Myself. Oh. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Send us your other one. You know when <laughs> Son of the Beach first came out, I was trying to write a script for right. the show, too. Yeah. Well, let, let's stick for it with Hank's script now. You, want you worry about getting it up. <laughs> I wish oh. so, are those chicks still here? Yeah. I, I just got to ask them that. I, I love those girls. I was oh, stop it. Them. Where are they? Okay. Uh, they are still here? Because I just oh. met them uh, before I came in here. I just... Yeah. What? Uh, I'm just, you know what? You can't see from where you're sitting what yeah. I can see. What do you see? There's something so disturbing going on with Eric's gums. And they're bleeding. Yeah. yeah there's always oh. blood coming out of his mouth. It's really, really gross. I know, but it's happened every time he's been here. There's but blood. I guess I've never been this close. Yeah, oh, no, it's happened. Uh, this is the third time they're, I saw it. They're puffy and... and uh. Do you go to a dentist? Yeah. Maybe you should go to one. I think you got a problem. A real dentist? Yeah. What does he say? He said, he said, brush my, brush my teeth every Does day. he show you how to brush your teeth? Yes, he does. Do you, you massage brush your gums? Every day? Yeah. You gotta massage them. Do you use yeah. floss, a water pick, any of that I stuff? I don't use water. I don't use uh, floss. You're gonna have gum disease. Do you use toothbrush, no, yeah. toothpaste? Trust me, yeah. he's not gonna have it. He's got it. Yeah, go to a, go to a good dentist. Please. Okay. You're it bleeding. Like the dentist doesn't care. There's just blood coming into your mouth. It's all over your teeth. How Are you aware of that? that no. You're really not aware of it? You don't taste it? No, I don't. He's so used to it. I just, I mean, I had... I'm two, worried about you. I had two beers before I came here. Right. Oh, oh, oh Hank's getting you into drinking. Oh, oh. Yeah. Now you'll be a big <laughs> You'll be a big, big drunk. I, I and, and the gums take your eyes away from the teeth, which mm. are stained and everything else. Right. Well, they're stained with blood. Oh, there you go. <laughs> what, do you brush your teeth with a razor blade? No. Jesus. <laughs> Seriously, you got to take care of that. Okay. You do nothing all day. Go to the dentist. Okay. All right. Okay, okay, okay. He's not going to do it. No, I will, thing. I will. You really should be alarmed. Even Hank's teeth don't look that bad. <laughs> I know. <laughs> it's also, I, well, I brush mine once in a while. <laughs> it's also a sign of worse things, Eric. The gum yeah. bleeding is a sign of other things that could okay. be wrong. Believe it or not, Howard, Howard, I've never had a cavity. Really? Yeah. <laughs> you can see, huh? You can see that. What could grow in that mouth? Is there no sugar and alcohol? <laughs> What could grow in that mouth? It's it's antiseptic. Well, the uh, this uh, is not uh, blood coming out of his the, mouth. The alcohol uh, probably uh, kills kill. all the germs. How about yeah, the soda. Look at those teeth. Oh, yeah, but the again. soda has alcohol in it also. Those teeth are green, Hank. Whose? Yours. Oh, that's all right. Eric's are. Eric's and they're are, all chip. Eric's are a whole other shade. Oh, that's because that. I fell down on a flight of stairs. <laughs> I'm checking out. In fact, my two front teeth are actually capped. Check out his shaving job. Wow. Oh, don't worry about my shaving job. The lights were off when you shaved, Hank. Oh, I don't care. All right, Hank, go back and work on your script. Come back in a month. I'll have the whole crew in here to read the script. We lost the girl. Right apart for everyone. Well, you just want the regular characters and a yeah. couple, yeah, the, couple the of guest stars, from... maybe. Right. And Some high pitch, I don't know what's going on with you. Go to the dentist. It might be that you're uptight about performing on camera. Wow. That's possible. That's have possible. You, have you ever considered seeing a psychologist? I mean, seriously, just to figure out... What's going through? I already head? have. No. <laughs> have you thought? What about does he need a psychologist for? Well, because he's. You know, a lot of guys can't get it up on camera. But he. But he has other. He's problems. never done it off camera. <laughs> yeah, he has he, other problems. Well. He might want to explore. I mean, I've done it off camera like a few, like last year with a girl I had. You, wait a second. Where? Time out. A black girl who I met you on the internet. You told us you were a virgin a week ago. You can't even keep your lies straight. No, oh. I had a black girl who I met on the internet about a year ago. And, and that's happened? not sex. I, no, we didn't have sex, but she... But you were aroused. aroused and, she did. And, and, All right, so maybe those two girls will have sex with you off camera. See if, see how that goes. I think that would probably work. Because I'm trying to get you laid. I'm trying in the worst I way. Know. I know. Right. That would probably work. All right. All right, guys, listen. Thank you so much. Hank, good luck with your script. All right, I'll try to do my best. Yeah. Hopefully it'll be something a little Send better than this. Yeah. your other stuff. I just got to see it. I'm trying to give you guys a shot here, but we're not getting anywhere. All right. I and... Uh, you want something like similar to this? Don't anything you want. I don't know. We don't even know what that is. How could we answer that question? <laughs> you have to read it. It's like it's like the ramblings <laughs> of a madman. Well, I am a madman. But right, thanks. Uh, thank you. <laughs> thank you, Hank the Angry Drunken Dwarf. At least dwarf. I admit it. All right. Thank you. All right. There he goes, Hank the Angry Drunken Dwarf, and high pitch Eric. Eric, you appearing anywhere? No. No appearances. No. I'm sure that. No be agent. No appearances. No nothing. No. All right. You gotta get an agent. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and thank you, Hank.